I love your work guys. Uh, and then from the up country side of Kisumu, welcome, Okelo okay, Jafet. So tuned from Lazavana Country Lodges and Hotels Kisumu, Jafet. Yeah, we appreciate your work here. So uh, big up, big up. So Krenaline. So what was our next topic? So we are going to talk about intimate partner violence. As I said earlier, intimate partner violence is basically domestic violence. Uh, and it manifests itself in various forms in a relationship or in a marriage. So today our visitor here, our Madame Vos, Madame Charity, is going to take us through uh, this intimate partner violence. We are going to understand what it really is, how it manifests itself, and how we can actually get ourselves out of this intimate partner violence. So be our guest, be our audience, and actually try to comment. Give us, uh, I'll also give you a shout out from here. Tell me where you're watching me live from. Tell, tell me your experience and uh, actually try to leave a comment uh, on our walls we are live on facebook and youtube and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel uh, welcome for this session thank you so charity uh the floor is all you is all yours i know you have a lot to tell us so we'll go straight to the point and uh welcome feel free this is home okay. thank you karina yeah. uh thank you ikonga resort for hosting us uh when you talk about as you've said when you talk about intimate partner violence. Uh, we are basically talking about domestic violence and uh, when you talk about this domestic violence or when you talk about this intimate, who are you getting intimate with? You can, uh, it can be your boyfriend, your spouses, your husband, your wife, right? And you will find that uh, violence can take form in many ways. It can be either physical, emotional, sexual very many forms huh? but the most the most pronounced one is the physical ile nyo unezaona yenye mtu amefanywa aliona kibali ni the physical one right yeah and uh, people also always tend to think that it is only women that get affected but you find that the way our society has been structured you will find that mostly also men are affected yeah. only that uh, men are not um, are not verbal about it. When I call and they are strong. They are strong. Or sometimes, uh, the, the mostly men um, mostly men experience emotional 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 traumas, right? Mm -hmm. But then uh, you wouldn't be able to know whether this man has been affected or not. But what is happening? That is emotional trauma. So when you go to this physical one that we mostly talk about, uh, you'll, al you'll always find that either it can manifest in forms of beatings, uh, and then when you go to sexual, that it, it becomes coercive, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for, for the sexual one, people mostly don't talk about it. And do you know me, that also men, um, men are normally sexually abused? <laughs> How? Not normally. How? How? Well, men are <laughs> normally sexually Sexual abused, abuse. but mm -hmm. they don't know. Uh, let me give you a simple example. Uh, for men, umenda kukatia mwanaume, sindia? Let's let's try to picture that. Mwanaume amenda kukatia. Umeva be provocative. He did not want. Eh? But at the end of the day, umemkatia, and then what happens? Uh, you've led him into it and then from there you'll find that that man has been sexually abused he will it was not his intention it was not uh, uh <laughs> wait wait, wait. Is, is that uh, abusive yes it is being uh, you're being abused you're well, being coerced into I, it i like hmm? that so like made them to like uh, uh, how do let me ask you a simple example yeah uh how do young boys get into sex Drugs. Huh? <laughs> we mostly talk yeah. about we, we mostly talk about uh, ladies or girls being abused. What about boys or men? By the way, this gender is always forgotten. Hmm? How do and we mostly you'll find they they are abused by older women or they are introduced into sex by older women, not women their age groups. 
can give I can I can I can I can give a simple or a narrative. One of my friends from this uh, minorities, uh, my, my, my minority minority tribes, was telling me, you know, us when we were small boys, we used to go out to herd uh, to herd cattle, and then from there. Uh, these older boys when uh, uh, they and then uh, and then uh, you must you must you, you must sleep with a girl but the ladies are being pointed towards too they are older than them we do not call that an abuse now before you actually continue charity You've talked about uh, when a woman presents herself in front of a man in a way that is, can I say, seducive? Seductive. Yeah, yeah seductive. Uh, so that's 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 abusing what? the man. That is abuse. That is abuse. Like what really? If, what <laughs> if? Wait, wait. Take <laughs> <Check, check, check, laughs> this second. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let me let me let me ask this. <laughs> Like what if a man presents himself before me in a man that, in a way in a manner that is seductive? That's also an abuse. But that you know, I tend being. to think that uh, men actually use the way the way ladies mo it's, it's, it 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 uh, normally manifests itself in uh, dressing the way we dress as a weapon for their bad deeds. Actually, like um, if I come to you, Mimi Sijuvile Nimeva, but I'm comfortable in the way I have dressed and you, you interpret it your own way, I tend to think it's your problem. It's not my problem that I'm... Like how ca <laughs> let me I'm not abusing you. Let, let, me, let me try and rephrase. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, Crinodin, uh, you've gone to meet a boy. Mm -hmm. right? Someone has asked you out for a date. Or a man has come to visit you at your house then you dress seductively. You know yourself you've dressed seductively. And how do you dress? And how, how do, do I dress? know that I'm seductively <laughs> dressed? Okay. So when when you live well I don't need, I don't mean to be so traditional but when you've dressed seductively is when you've left out your body parts showing your cleavage, your thighs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Yeah. Modest dressing. That uh -huh. that the dressing that is not modest. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we tend to say my dress, my choice, but then again, when uh, I was just giving you that picture of um, of of a confined or a private setting mm -hmm. where you are with a man, a private setting. We are not talking about the public or anything because, of course, you will not go having sex with someone on the streets. Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. You are talking about when you are uh, in a confined space and I'm also trying to give you an example of this boy does not know about sex and then this mama comes or this older girl comes and starts touching him or dressed in a, in a, in, in a seductive manner. Is you that not child abuse? Even adults. Okay. <laughs> Even adults. Yeah. Men do get abused. Yeah. That is why I was saying that when uh, for men it is not verbal like for women, yeah. we equal chinyamaji, and they actually don't know it. Like and they wouldn't know that this is abuse. Our nona, our nona ni kawaida too. It is not kawaida, but actually but it is not they abuse. enjoy it. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't enjoy but it. But again, <laughs> in this part of okay, maybe I've presented myself before this man productively. Alafu kuna tule to chama wanaume wana kwanga kwa squad I call them their squads they are safe spaces I don't know and then when you pass maybe there they start talking about your like they start body shaming you is that abuse is it is that, is that violence is is that okay you are not dating but um that is why I was saying that we have different forms of abuse. Mm -hmm. We have the physical, we have the sexual, we have the emotional, uh, of which the emotional can be mental or social, mm -hmm. right? So when you go about the body shaming, that one is more of emotional, mm -hmm. because that leaves you with a low self-esteem, self right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all those, there are types of abuse it can come in different forms so mostly you will find that the perpetrators of 
this uh, of abuse, they tend to look at your weak points, mm -hmm. right? So for for women, mostly they undergo physical because men are mostly stronger than women than, than women. Akiona havezi kuchapa kuna wili mwenye havezi kuchapa. So undergo on the emotional bit. And this is whereby we were talking, uh, I think we missed to talk about toxic commitments, right? Mm -hmm. Whereby uh, you will find that uh, you are in a relationship whereby mtu anakuja, yandi amekosa, lakini at the end of the day, anakupatia guilt trip when do na end up who apologize. apologize. Yeah. So how many times will you apologize? Utakuwa una apologize, yani anakufanya mbaka? Wewe ndi una, unaona ni kawe ndi kukwa makosa. You're the one who triggered it, especially when it comes to cheating. Yeah. And they'll tell you, oh, you're the one who did this, you're the one who drove me that, you're the one who made me cheat, right? Mm -hmm. They do not want to accept their mistakes fully. And then at the end of the day, what happens? You start developing low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And then when you develop low self-esteem, what happens? You, you, start, you start apologizing for his mistakes. You start, uh, you start distancing yourselves from people. You start changing your way of dressing. You know, it becomes too much. Mm -hmm. At the end of it all, you tend to lose your individuality. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you come to uh, the emotional bit or the risk factors, so when we are looking at dating or commitments, there, as you are talking about uh, respect, boundaries, all that. Yeah? So we tend to think uh, you should be having a deal breaker. If this person does uh, does this, I'm going to walk out. Right. So here you are. You're being battered. You're staying. But you know, ni mimi nilipiga nilikuwa na mdomo je yeah, akanika pigwa. <laughs> <laughs> unaanza 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 kumtetea. Yeah, you take the blame. You take the blame. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you find that people also get raped in marriages. Yeah. Mm? People get raped in relationships. Mm -hmm. You you think it is normal it is its right to get the conjugal rights, but what you are undergoing is marital rape. Mm -hmm. You are in the relationship, maybe you've argued and then uh, there's that that there's, there's that bit that people say um make up sex, break up sex, right? <laughs> so mwana uh, mmekosana, you you think it is make up sex, kumbe this person is 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 manipulating you sexually mm -hmm. or is getting back revenge on you sexually, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the sexual form of um, intimate uh, internet partner abuse. Mtu anakuja anakutukana 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 then you engage in sex. Ama someone comes butters you butters you and amalizia sex. So that is also a form of sexual abuse. And then we've also, we've also said about the emotional bit. And this one is what happens mostly in cases whereby we, besides the, um, uh, I think people don't know how to differentiate from the emotional one. People don't know how to detach themselves from uh, gender-based violence. Actually, we should, we should be talking about uh, the gender-based violence as a whole, mm -hmm. right? Because um, when you come to this emotional beat, you find that what do they don't talk about it. Mwanome akiongea anaona atonekana he's not in control of his house. Mwanamke anana akiongea anaona ni kama um, it has become too much. Labda ulikoko on the high pedals of the society. Do easy makeups to Konazo na Pigu, na Paka makeup Vizuri, na Lia, una talk to talk in my friend. Una smile. <laughs> una smile. Someone doesn't know if you are battered, especially us with the dark dark skin. <laughs> Black shirt. Yeah. 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 makeup, a unicani mm -hmm. You know, the power of makeup. Yeah. Yeah. So you wouldn't <clears throat> know. But now with the emotional with, with the emotional one, huh? it is it has become so it has become so paramount, especially, uh, especially in this era. Uh, sometimes, even in this COVID period, that is when we've seen there's a rise of domestic violence. We know when I say, "Mimi kwa i corona kama nige kwa na kana bwana yangu," especially time we are locked down, to get a chana. Why? And actually, most maybe relationships, most marriages have actually broken during this corona period. And you ask yourself why? And yeah, and I think it is in a sustained. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, actually there's that percentage that has been okay, sustained. <laughs> but when we try to look at these figures, I think 
the ones that have got got uh, that the ones that have been lost are many compared to the ones that have sustained. Yeah. So charity, I <laughs> like how can you know that a part a partner is really abusive? Like, what are the signs that this person is getting abusive in this relationship? And uh, how can you actually go about it when someone gets abusive in a relationship? So we have so many risk, risk factors for the perpetrators. Mm -hmm. One, you will find that either when you get into a relationship, you, you know, you need to have uh, different criteria, right? Mungina atakwambia, unono umesoma sana ndo kwa mana, ndo kwa mana, you don't want to be submissive. Mungina mm -hmm. atasema, uh, maybe if you get a job promotion, Mungina atasema, hey, ukona pesa siku hizi, mm -hmm. that is low self. Esteem. Esteem. And then maybe someone gets into the relationship with uh, high expectations. There's a question that came about and then I asked if if that income gets uh, gets done away with, how will you will you will that relationship be sustainable? Mm -hmm. So you will find that so with the low esteem, low income, you find that this person and a journalist plays alike. Uh, I'm not somebody in this relationship. Yeah, sure. So, ananza kwa na maybe anger issues, uh, and a project, and a project his uh, his emotions towards you, mm -hmm. right? You you think you're fine, but inside this person, there's something boiling. Mm -hmm. uh? So, kuna there's that uh, low self-esteem, and then you've talked about the low academic or low IQ, and then uh, when you talk about also this. Uh, age in uh, relationships. Age is also a factor. Mm -hmm. So you you get maybe a young girl of 24, this 24, 23, dating someone who is 40. Will these two people reason? Generation gap. <laughs> <laughs> Will these two people reason? Oh, why won't they reason? Hmm? There's that generation gap. If you sit down, um, you're dating someone in another generation. In another generation. Honestly. <laughs> so actually, on the same note. There's a, a, while I was in a, I was a freshman mm -hmm. at the university, I read an article on NTV about a University of Nairobi lecturer who was 44 at the time and her wife was 22 at the time. Actually, I saw they were good and they were pushing good. So Some do work. Yeah. Some do work. We are not he saying that it does not work. Okay. But you will f but you'll always find that in that generation gap. Uh, I think uh, there was one. There was one life coach last week uh, that was saying, if you get someone who, if you start dating someone who is at twenty or twenty-two, twenty-four, where we go thirty-five, forty, what this younger wants and what you want are two totally different, different things. You, mm -hmm. you want to settle. You, you want to settle. Umotoa mstana campus. You started going out with her. You want to make her a wife now. Akifika kwa nyumba unajua atakuwa memalizana na atakuwa amemalizana with the youthful things that she wanted to do. Yeah. That is where the problems rise in, in marriages. Health, in marriages. Yeah, sure. Because uh, there's that also age crisis. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't set You now you now understand why the young you understand why now yeah, the, sure. the, the, the generation gap we have. Yeah. So you let this girl she doesn't even know how many kids she wants to have. Who <laughs> unataka <laughs> five? Yeah, hata hajafikiria kama anataka hata mmoja. Unataka ni majina. Yeah, kwa tu zile za kubadili stage. Oh, so cute. Oh, may baby sit. She's adorable. Yeah, she's adorable. Her parents are dancing. If you give her that responsibility, will she be able to manage? No. That is why you also find that when we are looking for houses, unapata mtu anatafuta 25, atafuti hawa wadogo. Yeah. <laughs> because this other one, akwana other issues that she's dealing with, she's trying to discover herself. Yeah. That is what we're talking about, yeah. the young age. And then another thing, uh, what triggers this violence? We are still talking about the, viol the gender-based violence or intimate partner violence. Mm -hmm. So we've seen we have self-esteem, we have low IQ or academics, we have the young age. And then kunayuli ambaya nakwanga too aggressive naturally. Mm. So you find that this person does not know how to, to, to manage the tempers. Then you'll also find uh, these heavy drinkers. 
uh, and drug abuse zinamuonyesha tu but are, are there people who are naturally aggressive really or is it something that is the people that are naturally aggressive they are just, just short tempered hmm? okay. the people who talk about the aggressiveness there's mm -hmm. generally it's just them they're just short tempered they just flare hmm? and then we also have uh, the anger and hostility and then we have kuna wale ambao hawajui interact with people they don't know how to socialize so if you tell them something and on and ka oh you know that raw so napata there's that uh there's that aggressiveness or the abuse starts taking it form and then um when you come to our communities our communities based in changia sana our communities also trigger this uh violence uh when we are talking about commitment in relationships we were talking about uh, are you will you be able to when you're getting into a relationship you are, you need to ask yourself will you be able to compromise will you be able to trust this person again that is why i was telling you that i was asking you is if if this person cheats after you take him back will you always stick to the cheating or we have other or do we have other subsequent things that will make you not to stay so we have other deal breakers because this is someone maybe you've said uh till death do us part till forever <laughs> till forever uh, the so, day so, after <laughs> <laughs> so miss charity yes. so in case you didn't know miss charity is a is a lecturer kama uko unajua umejua so she is well spoken on this matter so ash uh we got a mtu amuliza hapa ash what should be the age limit yeah in in the relationships uh amuliza maswali mawili actually so the first one what should be the age limit and the next one age difference limit itakuwa ngapi you see so ebu to ambie Yeah. It was directed Charity, to me. Yeah, Charity, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you said Ashley. <laughs> no, it was from Ash. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> so, uh, when you talk about the relationships do not have age limits. Yeah. You just need to find someone that you are compatible with. Mm -hmm. But we are saying this. Uh, if you are still in campus, there's that dating. But when you're talking about commitment, what is dating 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 you're trying to get to know someone yeah. you've not you yet know, decided to settle yeah. with this person mm -hmm. and then we and then we have <laughs> courtship yeah. courtship is when you have profiled during dating you have profiled <laughs> like 10 <laughs> so when you come to courtship you've narrowed to one yeah. mm -hmm. right yeah. and then so after that courtship that, that is when now you want commitment so are you actually mm -hmm. saying that dating you should date many people then you caught one at the end of the day what is dating? Let me let me return the question to you. You are the one who is handling it. What is dating? Um What is dating? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can define it. In my in my opinion I think it is um when you like someone and you just start developing a connection as you know each other and as you figure out life. I don't know. So to you guys what is dating you know na dating ni nini so before twende mbali acha ni sama watu mashabiki hapa gado hapa so uh miss sunesh amesema julie hapo sasa so i don't know is julie <laughs> so you are as a nickname so shout out to you sunesh uh linet mosongo mkosawa and then teacher friend chacha following thank you for the support manze so to you guys what is dating you know na dating ni nini before to figure hapo what the other other forms of uh, e intimate gender violence ama intimate okay. partner violence what, what are other forms so waiting to hear from you guys so back to you so umesema mystery so umesema dating has no limit dating has no limit it does not have each limit by the way okay. because you will find that even young children nowadays high school yeah. they're dating right it is, you know, it is healthy yeah because uh, because we, we have this surge of hormones uh, yeah. our, their hormones are raging so mm -hmm. they're trying to get to know the other gender right mm -hmm. so when when you are dating we are not saying that dating actually i think people nowadays or in our generation we think dating is sleeping with someone yeah, yeah? that is why you are saying that if you date this one if uh, in a qua single out right mm -hmm. yes uh when uh uh you've asked me out right mm -hmm. 
you're not my boyfriend, you've called me for a, a cup of tea, yeah. right? Uh, uh, and then here comes another one, takes me out for a cup of tea, that's a date. Yeah. You want to know me, not that you want to get intimate with me. You know, we do not confuse, we cannot confuse those two. Yeah. When you're dating, it's not, it, it does not narrow down to, mm. to intimacy. Mm you are trying to get to know it should be this is how it should be when you're dating you're trying to get to know the other person mm -hmm. their likes their dislikes that is when you can say uh, this is my deal breaker mm -hmm. uh, you cannot work with this one you you say we can still be friends mm -hmm. but we cannot go any further but you see, you create boundaries because when you get into a relationship that is not the time you will start saying oh Uyu <laughs> habrashingi meno. Oh, uyu anachanga soku suko kwa mlango. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is when you start <laughs> one. That you know, dating nowadays has become. I think it has gone out of context. Hmm? In in our generation right now, because you will find if if I start dating, uh, I want to be serious. You will find that mutua meka kama three standby. At the end of the day, and I got confused. They are saying, "I mean, today you're going to get it. I mean, today you're going to get another samingi." You get it. Yeah. But now, when we are talking about commitment in this case, and you see again, when you're talking about intimate, when you're talking about intimate, um, in intimate partner mm -hmm. abuse, mm -hmm. have you ever had exes stalking you? Yeah. Yeah. All of the ex who stalk them. Yeah. Because ex. the ex who's stalking other people. Yes, that is also abuse. Okay. That is emotional abuse. He is stalking you. That is abuse. abuse. So when you talk about intimate partner abuse, it can also come from our exes. And as I could threaten uh, the nudes that you used to send, mm -hmm. that is yeah, emotional, so emotional or social abuse, right? Mm. Those texts maybe that you used to see, that you used to send to him. Ananza Kuziani. Ananza Kuziani. Welcome to the technology that we have. Mm. Be careful of what you send to the internet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And what you say on air, it will come to haunt you by mm. the way. Mm. <laughs> so that is also a form of an emotional abuse. Also mm. our exes, our other, mm. mm. you are profiling. Mtu wakona, siyu nili mpeleka date. Akasema akaona, now you you are committed because you decided mm -hmm. to go to that that cup of, to go for that cup of tea. Akaona, this is a sign of commitment. So when you're out there dating or uh, trying to get partners, you should be clear on what you want. Yeah, you, you should be clear with your intentions. When you ask someone for out for a cup of tea, you should tell them clearly what your intention was, whether it is a cup of tea. Or whether it is a sign of signaling uh, that you want, uh, that you want commitment, yeah. you get it. Yeah. So because others kuna wale ambao hawajuangi kuangia signs to wana sama sini liku nunulia hi sini liku peleka lunch sini liku peleka salon kwa hivyo we ni girlfriend ya girlfriend yangu. So other factors that um, that that lead to to intimate someone maybe might be jealous. Someone might be having just trust issues, maybe from home, the upbringing of someone. Like that someone I may grow up in an environment that the parents were fighting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Kawana, this is the way. Is the norm. <laughs> that is the norm. Yeah. That is why I was saying that also our society normally uh, it, contributes. it contributes. Our communities contribute. Other times, uh, men will think that. The only way I can show this woman I'm the man of the house is by beating her up, uh, you know, threatening her. That is coercion. So it is also a form of abuse. Uh, when you get married to someone, marriage becomes, it's like uh, the union. You are at par. No one is higher than the other one. You are a team. You now come back. You you reach you reach a level of compromise, whereby kama uyu ataki coaches za blue, uyu anataka uyu anataka za red. Mix them. Kama anataka red, mweke zip mweke cushions za red. Nini za blue, viti za blue. You you get that compromise. Not every time you are the only one who is saying sorry. You're not the only. Yeah, you're the decision maker. That person will tend to lose their individuality at the at 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 the end of the day. And then the other thing, when how women mostly perpetrate 
their their violence let's say you're married right mm -hmm. or you've come into a relationship when you lose your individuality and then you you maybe when you're back in your bunny now you are the homemaker maybe the man told you to leave your job uh, you have kids now you don't have a source of income right mm -hmm. so what happens you will find that with time as the children grow the woman becomes idle and what happens anaanza kuwa na ile ni wivu yeah wivu yeah anaanza kuwa na wivu hey umekubali aje hiyo point you know these, these things have happened and at least it has ziko ziko so yeah. you will find that she will not be start she'll start becoming now verbal maybe from her actions mm -hmm. huh? You, she will now maybe start becoming verbal maybe she will start being insultive at times of one trust issues insecurity i say my oh nowadays you maybe you coming home late uh, because you're hanging out na when you are so ma mwingine atataka kuenda kazi i say me pia anataka kungara kuenda job kama wengi wengine that is why we were telling you uh, when there's a question that came up at you dem nilipata kidunga sasa hivi amefika kwa nyumba hanga hangari find the cause of that maybe you no longer you no longer take her out you no longer give her maybe that freedom so she's always indoors and you don't expect me to be working in the house indoors doing house chores wearing, wearing heels bottom heels yeah. <laughs> you, i wouldn't be wearing heels in the house sitenda kuhakisha kuni kama nimevaa official you've done your nails i've done my nails you know you make up you <laughs> so sometimes sometimes men do anachangia but we ladies uh we also we also changia mm -hmm. to some extent right mm -hmm. so when you get to that home after you've done your chores just just spruce yourself up you know it wouldn't cost you put on your makeup dress nicely <laughs> seeing mom uh, sedenge ni ngombe or yeah. safari com this 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 safari com t-shirts yeah. yeah try to try to look pretty yeah, yeah. and maybe yes. before charity continues uh why is it that uh, most people tend to report more the physical part of uh, domestic violence and they leave out these other forms of uh, violence like emotional because you get to realize that emotional violence is so rampant in our relationship is it that we don't know how it is how what it actually is or why do people fail to report cases of uh, or instances of emotional violence yet m many people actually report domestic violence I am right here one day. Uh, so after you say my husband I'm a quirky You don't have uh, you, is there evidence to support that? Am I you record a video you wait for him? <laughs> <laughs> record like a video. And then when you go into the helplines or whatever you you carry And by the, what do you present to these helplines mm -hmm. because you get to realize that emotional violence has it has uh, no evidence it kama physical evidence. Yeah. violence naweza kuja niseme kai alinichapa hapa na hapa maybe amenikata yeah. na panga kwa mkono mm -hmm. and you can actually see the wound or something so how do people actually come out with the evidences that support emotional violence or do you ma do you have to have the, the the evidence for you to actually report emotional violence how will these people believe you you see uh, when you're talking about emotional emotional violence it normally you 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 look at the aftermath mm -hmm. like i told you before uh when someone is when someone is uh, emotionally disturbed you find maybe that person a major distance from people mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you'll find maybe that person whatever that person used to like doing they know that they no mm -hmm. longer do it mm -hmm. others will fall into depression of which the mental illness or depression nowadays has become rampant yes, right sure. because of the emotional thing i talk about mtu mbaya ni kona depression mtu atashanga what is this talking about why are you depressed why are you depressed you, depressed? Mm. you don't even people look take it lightly people yeah. take it lightly the same way you know the, the way you are saying that you cannot report uh, emotional <laughs> abuse but you can mm. tell someone is emotionally abused when you see their moods their their moods actually right their moods their behaviors no mwingine labda ata lose weight mwingine atakuwa utapata labda kama ni mama kwa nyumba atabaki akishautia shautia watoto mfanye kazi you get it yeah, so that means that uh, physical any emotional violence like is worse it's, okay physical. yeah it's worse but uh, uh, and again it takes time like okay you can't just report it immediately 
because you have to first study behavior. Okay, there, there, ha there has to be a change in your behavior for you to actually report it. Or what do you? Actually, on the same note, reporting emotional, you have no evidence. So, how sure are you there will be actions that are taken? You have got no evidence. <laughs> so on the same note, before to end in Bali, uh, Ashi, Magoma, you have been I'm proud of you, Ashi Magoma. So, Priska Mani, wherever you are, Asanti Sana, Wale, to Meshukuru, it is that support. So, what I want to come at 50, let me read the first 20. So, X3 de Santos, Salinet Mosongo, Klinikon, Klinikon Manze, Dig up, Naomi Watuman, Eric Muticia, Honor Frank Samson, Almas Masogo, Teacher Fred Chacha, Carol Kipkoch, Prince Jifan, who you are called Dubai. Yeah, Ashley Magoma, Tukonaya, James K. all the way from Mount Kenya University, uh, Samaboko, all the way from uh, MET, that is in US, uh, Massachusetts, US, uh, Akropatman Ak Mogendi, and Ivan Onderi. So keep them coming, keep them coming. We are here at the Congo Super Resort uh, where you belong, so please keep them coming, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and follow us, uh, follow our page on Facebook. Keep them coming. So, come on, Meskia, we have got uh, two experienced gates. Hapa, tukona Ashley Magoma and Charity Miss Charity. So, ukiangalia hapa vizuri hivi, these ladies can give you advice on dating, those relationship, as they have got a... Uh, I, I don't... Mwena shule mkasomei kazi, because you are so fluent in it. Ama ni nini? Ama ni experience? For me, I am a member and a volunteer with uh, the Red Cross. Wow. So, mostly we come across this. Oh. So, and you actually? It's just something I love doing. Wow. So, and we also, <coughs> and the criminal, love doing this to you. <laughs> <laughs> we also Yay. love this. We love, we love bringing them here so that we can hear you. Cindy, Cindy, so criminal line. Apa ni mwono mwuzo suwali, apa na Sama Boko. Anasema, ataka we ni host, kuna vile, kuna vile, kuna vile, lakini hizo, hizo ni za badai. So, hameulizo huko nyuma aje. <coughs> so, about the emotional ones, about the emotional ones, Ameuliza, iki zungu wakia ni tricky, Ameuliza, hello guys, Atikwange TV, big up guys, I'm Sam Maboko, so nilikuwa nauliza krina la nivi, siji kata ni jibu, so, what about those ladies mwenye anapika mwanaume, nojo mwanaume wezi anda kotu, wanda shitaki mwanaume, kia itil di, broko ni tako imeisha, gangsta pandes tako imeisha, what do you think about that? <laughs> that is what we were saying. Yeah. Uh, let me answer. Uh, yeah. You need to. <laughs> yeah. We said. We said men are not verbal. Yeah. Because babu the society imefanya manome. Uh, imefanya manome. I feel like akichapwa ni kama manome kaka kimchapa like in a donation it mm. brings him down it yes, brings it, it it brings his ego down so akuna vile akuna vile manome atendo kwa njia sema unajua ni lichapo because the society has shown him to be the stronger of the exes. Mungina atafuliza aje ulichapua na mwanamke. How did it even happen? Where were you? Ma that's toxic. There's a story I had some time back. A man, a man, a man was experiencing this kind of abuse in the house. So this man was saying that him, he wakes up in the morning, he's married, the wife is a housewife, but he's the one who wakes up in the morning, he prepares the kids to school, and then he does the house chores, and then he goes to work. When he comes in the evening, penyale chie viyombo, ni hapo hapo tu. And then when the, when the lady's friend, uh, when the wife's friend come to visit, they think the guy is being very romantic, he's doing utensils, uh, he's mopping the house, he's cooking. But them, they do not know behind the scenes that it is an abuse that is taking place in the house. And the man is like, you know, in from my culture, it does not allow us to beat women. So how will he go reporting that? Um, how will he go reporting that I'm being abused in the house? The ladies' friends, the wife's friends, were known. Ah, this guy is very romantic. How will he report? In a huangumu because in a huangumu, but we are telling the men right now that that is an abuse. Feel free to 
reach out. We have uh, we, we have support systems that you can go to, or you can you get someone to talk to. Because when you bottle it up inside, the inaenda inakuwa ina ina inakuwa expressed now as physical. It gets to a point because the emotional abuse does not exist on its own. You will find that it coexists with the other forms of abuse. Either it will start with the physical. Alafu, akiona mekuchapa bado unendelea kuka, inatend sasa kwa emotional. Ama itaanza kwa emotional, akiona you've grown a thick skin, yanze kukwa physical. So the emotional abuse normally coexists with with other forms of abuse. And then you'll also find that uh, in this, uh, the other form of uh, abuse that takes place, you remember we were talking about um, the risk factors to Kasama Law Academic. Now you get into a relationship, wewe mwenyoko 40, you may get into a relationship na a high school, to a high school. Uh, you decided to marry that girl. Uh, it will reach a point, maybe wakati mumezo yana sana, wakati mumezo yana sana, you'll find that now this form of abuse will ta start taking place. Where ata ujasoma, wewe uliachia class 8, wewe uliachia form 4, ujaenda ta university, how can uh, uh, you are not contributing anything, or uh, ama uh, ama you do not have masters, you do not have a PhD. You are not like this and this. Uh, yes. So it, it starts like that. That is also a form of, and uh, that person will start humiliating you. Yeah. Oh, you're not dressed like so and so. If you are dressed like so and so, well, you get I it. I wouldn't cheat on uh, you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that is also a form of emotional abuse because it normally entails, we've said it will entail um, verbal, uh, the, emotion, the emotional abuse will either entail humiliation, discrimination, or the verbal one now, the matusi zinanza ku, matusi zinanza ku ingia katikati. So, uh, you had a question? No, I don't know, I see this kwa na swali. So, big up uh, Dan Changechir, all the way from Greater University, big up bro. So, Crinoline, what do you think? You know, if I continue, I have a question here. Kevo B from Nira County is asking, uh, your husband rejects your food over a little, uh, a little misunderstanding. And he goes to bed hungry. What's that? Is that violence? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> so we want to talk a short commercial break here, two minutes. When we'll be back to transfer Kevo. Cindy, Kevo from Nyamira. Uta question yaku transfer. So keep them coming and like to comment. To narudi sahi, two minutes. Much love, guys. Thanks for watching. Ilya Siku ya leo, adverti tunenda tu Ikonge Super Resort. Yani ni mkawa ambayo yuko na mandari safi kabisa. Endapo umekani nyumbani, ume feel like umechoka, umekuwa na struggle ya day, yani ujipati office siku moja, fika pale Ikonge Super Resort, wako na mandari safi, wako na bathing case, wako na swimming pool, manze, food wanapika mufti sa, kabisa. Heated, it's smoking hot, and uh, I have seen you people's comments, and I like the way you're actually contributing into the conversation. So before we left, we had a question for our guest, Ati, Ati, this guy, this woman, had a short misunderstanding with the guy <laughs> but sasa after they had the misunderstanding the the guy kind of started selling treating the woman like akapika chakula the guy didn't eat and then he went to sleep without saying anything so the uh, the sender of the comment was asking is that violence or how should she handle that uh, people react differently in different situations huh? And when we are looking, when we look at toxic relationships, the narcissistic partner tends to have the kind of silent treatment. So you need to differentiate: is it a one-time thing, or is it every time you do something small, you receive the silent treatment? Every time you argue, you receive the silent treatment. In either that person maybe come that person is providing, you stop providing. Either you will cook, akose kukula. You get it. Yeah. So is it a one time thing or, or is it, it is something that is recurring? Maybe you see kumtu and kwana sira zaidi. Akwana wacha eh? And people so we need to understand. That is why I said people rarely know 
when to say this is abuse and this is not abuse, abuse mm -hmm. especially in the emotional bit of it so we need to you, you need to to watch out for other clues because it is not uh, in the emotional abuse it's not the only clue uh, that you are experiencing intimate partner abuse mm -hmm. because that day maybe it was just a reaction but if it is something that is repeated re repetitive or uh, you get other forms of silent treatment then uh, then it explodes because those silent treatment they always tend to explode afadhali yule yule ambaye anakuambia kinyi kikwa raw kuna kile mwenye ana bottle up and a bottle up when it comes to explode it will be something else right any other question yeah that was the question we had and then there was this question on uh, why why is it that uh, people even after realizing that they are in a toxic relationship if they are experiencing domestic violence why is it that most women or even men tend to actually stay in that relationship in as much as they they know that what they're experiencing is not right why why do they stay you know the thing about toxic relationships is that it's not constant fights this this guy is going to be very bitter at you shouting at you for 5 minutes and then after that he will go cook for you he will say i am so sorry he will be so sweet he will cook for you he will serve for you uh, whatever he's cooked over there and tell you babe i'm so sorry i don't know what happened to me it's, it's the way you look at me babe you look at me and i i, I just get so such excuses oh like it's so each time you always longing for the sweet side so you like oh, he's not so bad he's, 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 he is he will cook for me mm -hmm. so people tend to get deceived by the the the, the other reaction the other parts of the very sweet side extremely sweet, sweet side. side of the relationship and yeah. they forget about this toxic part yes. and yet this toxic part actually has has a greater impact she's she's going to tell us about the impact of her mean you know the negative impact of being in a, in a, associated with domestic violence yeah. so okay that's one of the reasons charity what do you have to say so like she said um most people don't walk out out of these relationships and it is very hard you know as women we've been trained that mwanamke ndio bomba mwanamke ndio kingpin for you corner especially we call it the cornerstone of the relationship so this woman tends to build anaona nikitoka what what will happen to my kids what will people say what will happen to my kids where do i begin from so it becomes hard yeah so you find that either this person the security you get from that relationship keeps them there anaona nikitoka watoto wangu watasoma nje naenda kuanzia wapi nitaishi aje where am i going to stay yeah, what will yeah. people say so that security and the dependence that you get from that person make them stay then the other thing you'll find that um, people tend to be emotionally dependent on people mm -hmm. remember when we talked about um, being rehabilitation centers yeah yes so mm -hmm. you'll find that uh this uh, these women we have this habit of trying to change someone yeah unataka kumbadilisha kwa perfect a perfect you jesus which you are envisioning yeah? Yeah. so when you're trying to when you're trying to change this person unapata you try this and react the other way you try this and react the other way and then uh, now being in this being emotionally dependent in toxic relationships is that um you always want that positive feedback oh babe how do i look uh oh, babe am i fat babe am i thin how do i look when i wear heels which color suits me so whatever he says goes you cannot function without it oh babe i'm going to meet a uh, crinoline usiende hiyo rafiki yako kwanza si mzuri anakuaribu anakuaribu so you <laughs> find <laughs> these toxic partners they'll always tend to cut family ties friendship ties uh ataanza kuagonganisha kama you are friends mm -hmm. ataanza kuagonganisha you get it mm -hmm. atakwambia something bad about this one la friend ambie the friend you know what a friend yako could like nene nene ama when your friend comes along anaanza kumwonesha attitude you get it mm -hmm. so that is what happens and then or when you're out there you're the sweet looking couple 
ya IG my friend tunatamani mnasema couple goals <laughs> mabao eh <laughs> <laughs> mnatupatia couple goals but when you come inside the house it is something different so uh, only you can tell but outside there to the to you, to when, especially uh, when you have male male let's say if the man is the narcissist huh? he will find that to his squad atambia ah huyu hata she was she's just a passing passing cloud huh? she's just the sex attack game yake ko down to to your friends atasema unaona hii mdomo yake kwanza hii mdomo yake ndio spendi hii mdomo yake ndio inafanya ni na mchapa because the first person that you will go and tell your friends that have been beaten are your friends your friends ndio wata notice haraka mm-hmm. before even your family members because you meet your friends more often than mm-hmm. your family so your friends ndio wataza kwa pay by the way nowadays you don't show up nowadays mko nini uko mudi nowadays you get it yeah. so uh, because ana journey the friends utakimbilia kwanza ataenda anza ku bad math kwa the friends ah you know ata yeye squeeze anazunguka na wanaume kazi ni kukaa kilimani mums na insta na shughuliki na vitu za nyumba so you see already so your friends wana shindo whom to believe uh, to your family members ataenda mambia oh you know you know he or she will try to paint a negative picture but then uh, and what happens that is when you find yourself apologizing for every little thing you do not have time for your friends You're, you you remember you when we when we're starting this discussion uh you said something about you are being in a relationship you don't know whether you are in a relationship or not you cannot you describe your relationship my friend you are undergoing emotional abuse yeah. so guys uh heated debate inaendelea hapa it ko kali mse so sidi tulianzia wapi so before tuendelee mbali i can see somebody here Vincent Obadia uh, openo nyangoya we see you bro keep it up uh Clarice Elvi all the way from Maseno University <laughs> Mbambika by the way Clarice Elvi good uh, and then we see hapa sana ngani mwingine hapa so tunaona Sam Aboko bana all the way from US thank you thank you bro thank you bro so keep them coming keep them coming so uh, on on our previous topic kuna msema kuja hapa amekoma sasa hii uh, is Thompson Nyangoya from Nyiranga amesema so money is never everything love is everything amesema hivyo so money is not everything love is everything so ameenda kaandika hapa kaandika kusema so that's on a, on a previous topic I'm saying uh you can start from zero but with the love you can start with the zero and you will make it bigger as long as you gonna support him to mwingine not unless ile mtu asha make it in life wewe unakuja hapo kumsumbua saa hii hata hata utakuwa priority kwake saa hii yeah itakuwa tu chini sana so we like that we like that uh Dan Changechir uh, bro from Gaza University I'm saying loving the show very dear to the top of oh, thank you bro thank you bro thank you bro, thank you, bro. <laughs> So keep them coming as you know live from the Mira County county number 046 acha kama by the kama uko number 046 hapa hebu comment hapa bana nyamia the world si ndio ama ni let's go let's go alafu live hapa nimeona oh youtube i love the show oh kuna mwingine ako youtube anajiita anajiita Jeff Mwangemi Jeff Mwangemi all the way from youtube kabisa kabisa uh, i think eh Oh, City Boy, City Boy. Mwana ya City Boy. Ha. The guy, the singer from Mombasa, City Boy. Thank you, thank you. Anasema ah, uh, ndio anapenda film. So some <laughs> ladies and guys wanapenda film. So kawe ni chali, they look they use your film to exploit you. I don't know, Miss Charity, if that is to manipulate you. Ama manipulation, yeah. Because that's a form of manipulation. So, ameuliza, so what about film? So, anasema mimi ni msanii mkubwa, nimeenda ni nimeshabobea kwa industry sasa hii napata ma girlfriends wengi hadi ukiambia watu uko single waamini juu hata wewe wenyewe uko single unashinda utachusi nani nani ako na true love with nani so who can you talk about that oh, when it comes to relationships as we said it is tricky mm. ukijitambua unaweza kutambua your partner mm-hmm. and as they say a good partner comes from the blood and there's never a wrong time or right time for you to have a relationship when the right one comes along you will you say notice. this is the one yeah mm-hmm. actually when we went on break mm-hmm. we were talking about working or feeling like you cannot tell your, uh, if you're in a relationship or not but if you have the right person 
you wouldn't need to be told you are in a relationship you will feel it so there's no wrong time right time for a rela- for uh, for you to have a relationship when it is your time mm. it will feel right mm. everything will be right you mm. wouldn't be experiencing this toxic habits or uh, toxic traits and then again uh, you see men have these tendencies especially when they go on cheating not even men or women because we're talking about both bo- both both sexes you remember we said that uh, in when you're experiencing this uh, abuses you will find that to the friends at the same time you come to me she's insane she's jealous and apenda kuchungulia simu yangu anapenda kunipigia pigia simu akirudi kwa familia atawaambia oh unajua me i really want this to work she's not she, she's not the same person i met akienda kwa boys anakuambia ah who then by the way she's not the one yeah alikuwa anapita tu nje alikuwa 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 anapita nje so you find that it's 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 a bit tricky but then uh, how do you know that you are uh, that that you are experiencing uh, these emotional abuses so we need to find out uh, like when before you commit to someone you need to see his extremes for anger you need to find out how he will react to something uh, when someone tells you by the way unajua mnikosea do not take it lightly see what umekosea uh try to internalize what this what person is done. saying yeah what you've done uh do not always uh, what happens with this ones uh that uh, that that perpetrate hmm? you'll find that they always want to be in control you'll find uh, a lady she's working she's her, she has her career she's married everything is stable they are well off both the man and the woman but what happens there's that abuse in the house and then you wonder ah this sweet couple what could be happening you find either one needs to be in control one wants to be the one in control yeah. or you find the other one uh, tries to to equalize that is why i was saying that in a relationship you need to be at at par you need to be equal no one should feel superior than the mm-hmm. other one although in the bible we have been told that men uh, women we need to be submissive to our men yeah. to the husband mm-hmm. and the husband to love the woman as Christ loved love the church na kuna kwanga na ile ngine love your neighbor as you love yourself. yourself you wouldn't do harm to your neighbor or to yourself you wouldn't do harm to yourself so if if you cannot do harm to yourself how would you harm the other one how would you harm your neighbor so that is basically it so when we come to now this when when we, kuna kwanga na that feeling of inadequacy or that low you feel that low self esteem you feel like you've not achieved you have very high expectations and then you see your partner is rising 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 within and yeah you forget that mm-hmm. you are a team mm-hmm. so you start projecting towards your partner but that shouldn't be the case so in this case when 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 you realize uh when, first we were talking about people walking away from abusive relationship M- women normally find it hard to walk away it, it is not easy kabla mwanaume anaza mwa mke atoke because for women we when they get into relationship they give it like their all and then uh, and then when you look at when people look at the relationship they look it with the perspective of women or with respect to women mtu atasema oh ndoa yake ilianguka alishindwa kujenga ndoa yake alishindwa ku sustain relationship yake but that's not the case and it becomes the point of reference hata ukifanya anything whether you want to get into politics kama ulishinda ku manage ndoa how can you manage that yeah, yeah, especially yeah. especially in this region in this region actually <laughs> so you especially in this region when people buy for seats atakwambia huyu akona kwake mm. eh yeah, kama ameshindwa kujenga kwake ata uh, Yeah. 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 let us put it in that in our local dialect yeah. how will she speak for you if she cannot speak how will she hold you if she cannot sustain her house so that is what again makes women stay in this abusive relationship what of men men cannot work you remember the first example that i gave that this man uh, this man was saying that from where i come from we are not allowed we cannot be twin men 
So Anashindwa, actually, this man wanted to commit suicide uh, when when he was calling for that social psychosocial. Uh, this man wanted to commit suicide. He was he was asking for help. So he was like, it has come to a point. I am I am emotionally exhausted. I cannot take it anymore. Uh, but then when I remember my how my kids will suffer because I have a lazy wife. It makes me go on. Actually, it was during this COVID mm -hmm. period. And then he was like, you know, at least when there was no COVID, we could go out, unarudi nyumbani kama, umekunywa mbili zako tatu, ukifika kwa nyumbu mechoko, unaingia kula? Kulala. To avoid many, to avoid many issues. But now, you see, uh, we were talking about the increase of GBV during COVID. Because people now stay together. Make one lockdown. Hakuna penye unaenda. That is when we have so many triggers. Uyu labda we are Latisha Kazi, there's no source of income. Uh, uyu labda amilokiwa out in another county. Labda kwanza alikuwa medanganya nikotua hapa 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 tu. It's good to, it's, that is why we say it. It's very respectful for you to say it when you're in a relationship. Just say where you are, just say the truth. Yeah, I'm right. out with so and so. Eh? You don't don't wait to be called and be asked, babe. Kwani uko? Akitoka kwani ulikuwa wapi? Are you even in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, I can see time is really catching up with us and uh, we are about to wrap the show. Uh, I see your questions are so many here like there's someone saying that we should actually say something. This is teacher Fred Chacha. We should say something about sexual violence, but um Sadly, our time is not going to allow us to do that, so we we'll schedule that, that for next week at the same place and at the same time. So kindly, uh, as we wrap up, uh, Charity, uh, these are victims of uh, sex, uh, intimate partner violence. And do we have any helpline when someone is abused? Where should they run to kindly before we wrap up the show? So before we wrap up, we need to tell people that violence is there. Mm -hmm. And we need to tell them how how to engage in this. So first, we need to teach them about self and healthy relationship. How to determine if uh, if it's toxic or it is non toxic. Mm -hmm. When we started, we said uh, if you feel if you cannot say what type of a relationship you have, work out. Yeah. If okay. you feel if if nowadays you normally usingoje mtu akikwambia ni takuwa, don't stay. Yeah. If someone starts threatening you, threatening you, don't stay. Mom, uh, dad, walk out. That person means it. You will never know. Uh, and then um, uh, we have this. Uh, we are talking about sexual violence. When we have that sexual violence, do not shower. Go to the hospital uh, first. Be treated after you've been, you've been treated. Uh, that medical report. Go with it to the to the police station file your report there, they will fill it in an occurrence book and then from there uh, they will give you an OB number and then you can decide to take the matter to court where you will be given the first hearings and the staff when the person pleads guilty and acquire convicted there, not guilty, uh, the whatever will continue, the hearing proceedings will continue and the person will be, uh, will be charged or judged accordingly to the mistake. So, uh, with the, that is among the physical and sexual abuse, you can report. The mental abuse that people don't talk about, the emotional abuse, we have uh, helplines. For Red Cross, you can call 1195. And then we have for FIDA, for, for just give me a minute. Uh, we have for the police, we have 9999 triple nine that is or one one two and then we have for FIDA we have for FIDA two one double six one and then uh, also the one one nine five is for the national uh, GBV helpline but you can also get Red Cross you do not need to suffer in silence when you are undergoing emotional abuse you'll always find someone on the line to talk to Thank you. So, where can we find you? On social media. On social media. Hashi. Uh, I am. I am. I am. I am on social media. Facebook Ashley Magoma. The Ashley is double E commercial. On Instagram I am Magoma. 
and uh, on WordPress, I will tell the director to post a link of my WordPress on uh, YouTube on the description. Yeah, on yeah. the wall. description or whatever. It's everything. Um, on Twitter, you can find me as Possible Riongere. At uh, Insta, you can find me as Charity Ongere. O N G E R E. Yeah, so with all that said and done, I would like to thank our producers for the day, the, the guy behind the cameras for the good work you've done, and to actually thank our audience for actually watching us. And, uh, Thanks for tuning in and having to listen to what we have to say. So before we conclude, Obara, do you have anything to say? Yeah, sure. So uh, let me take the opportunity to welcome the management of the Congo Super Resort for hosting us today here. Uh, this place is uh, good. Uh, we have got uh, tea. Thank you for the. We are glad for the. Bana to school, to school. Remember, we come here. Thanks for the for hosting us. So na kuna wale na kujabe mention by the comments wa mingi. We mention next week. We'll mention you. So uh, we are airing. Uh, so sorry, we are here live from Nyamira County, County number zero forty six, uh, town called Ikonge. So it will be a crime if I do not, uh, do not mention uh, our Mukubwa, uh, Mr. CEO, Mr. Sponsor, who is Mr. Josiah Muriasi. Uh, Mukubwa, wherever you are, we are thankful for this opportunity. Uh, so as you have heard from our esteemed guests, please make sure we may follow you. We see serve in silence by the way. Just make it up to you. It is you have got only on the YouTube blame. Come out of Yeah, love yourself before you love others. Yeah. See, see you next, next time. Week. Bye bye. Next Wednesday, same place, same time.